Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, I'm very happy to introduce uh, Professor Dr. Takako Hashimoto to you. Uh, she graduated first, she graduated from uh, Otamis University, which is uh, uh, actually the oldest top run research one to the city. Yeah. And after that, uh, she started to work in uh, Rico, uh, which is also a very famous company in Japan. And uh, uh, she worked at the R&D Center and take a reading, uh, took a reading part in many development. So uh, actually, you know, Rico is also uh, very famous for innovating innovations and making a uh, lot uh, good products. And there, uh, she won 24 years. And there, during the, during the work in Rico, uh, she also got a, a PhD degree from the University of Tsukura, uh, particularly in terms of database. So, our uh, original uh, expert, this is database, and now uh, it's an uh, age of big data. So, naturally, uh, currently she is uh, uh, making a lot of contributions to the study of the big data. And also, uh, particularly after 2011, when the uh, Japan East, uh, East Japan earthquake happened, actually, the, there are many studies done, conducted with the Twitter for the emergency timing. And uh, today, uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, she, will, uh, she will talk a lot about those kinds of big data and how to use the Twitter, particularly for the emergency case, and how to make a big, good analysis on those kinds of big data for social uh, contributions. So uh, anyway, uh, I, want to, uh, I want you to have a big hand to Uh, thank you so much for your kind introduction, Professor Hashimoto. So I am Takako Hashimoto from Japan, uh, Chiba, from Chiba University of Commerce, Japan, and also director of Institute of Economic Research now. So unfortunately, uh, my co-author, Professor Yukari Shiroza, she cannot make it today. So on behalf of her, I will translate her half past presentation. So today, I would like to talk about the social media analysis technique of decision and visualization. So this is the outline of my presentation. First of all, I would like to explain about our research motivation. Then I will introduce our research, the topic extraction from millions of tweets based on community detection in bipartite network. This research is based on our original technique, bipartite network communication detection. And also, another research will be introduced, a book review analysis of Hanukimura Kami in five countries. Actually, this part is led by Professor Shiloto, so I will uh, present uh, on behalf of her. And I would like to share our global experiment, a social media analysis platform in Asian countries with you. And then I will conclude my presentation. OK, so let me start with our research motivation, social media analysis research. So the main aim of our research is to analyze what was going on in people's mind from social media. So you may you may understand so after the Syria severe disaster or for the well known novels or for the really popular internet games, people are posting that a lot of uh, people are posting a lot of uh, their thoughts and ideas on Twitter. And by analyzing the social media, so not only Twitter but also blogs and uh, uh, comment review or Amazon review site, so we can see the people's mind or people's idea and their tradition. For example, after the Japan earthquake, so Professor Hashimoto explained 
We had a really severe earthquake in 2011, six years ago. At that time, people posted a lot of uh, uh, their ideas, a lot of tweets on Twitter. So they are worried about damages by the disaster. They tried to contact friends and uh, family and so on. And they try to share the various information about traffic and communication and governmental support and so on. And on the other hand, various kinds of information, misinformation, so fake news were also spread. So this is actually the really, uh, this is a fact. And we had uh, sometimes that this kind of uh, disinformation affects people's behavior and, and people sometimes uh, lost their way to go to the right path, something like that. So therefore, the, by analyzing the social media, we believe we can get a wealth of insight of societies. So, okay, I want to uh, introduce uh, our uh, any first part of my presentation. Topic extraction from millions of tweets uh, based on community detection in bipartite network. So actually for social media analysis, the conventional method basically follows these steps. Step one, the natural language processing. Step two, clustering. Step three, the feature selection from each cluster. And step four, topic detection. So I would like to uh, introduce uh, briefly uh, the step one, natural language processing. So, so I think you already know this part, natural language processing, because this is NLP. So therefore, the, I do not explain uh, uh, in detail. But anyway, the natural language processing is a really mandatory and the primary part of the social media analysis. And they're sorry in Japanese, but if we have uh, this kind of the techies, we need to get words from these techies. So, and uh, this is quite uh, uh, important. This is uh, uh, the technology uh, depends on local languages. Very important part, but really depends on local languages. And uh, in our research, we do not concentrate on natural language processing. We are concentrating on the step two and step three, clustering and feature selection. So therefore, the, we are working with the natural language processing researchers, and we are using their uh, kind of the libraries from provided by the NLP researchers. Okay, and step two and step three, clustering and feature selection. So the most popular technique. Conventional technique is LDA, latent Dirichlet allocation. I think all, all, most of you already know this technique, really, really popular and widely used for topic uh, extraction and topic as, as a topic model. So LDA is a latent Dirichlet allocation. So this is a, a major topic model. Uh, originally presented by Knight in 2003. So this is a general the probabilistic model for correction of group, group to discrete data. So they have an assumption. So document uh, exhibit multiple topics, and each word has related topics, and words that belong to the same topic tend to appear in the same document. So this is a probabilistic model, so and uh, one of the dimensionally reduction technique. The LDA uh, provides a topic uh, set uh, by reducing the dimension from the really sparse uh, word and uh, document uh, matrix. However, there are some problems on conventional method, so like uh, conventional technique, like the uh, dimensionally or mainly dimensional reduction techniques. So dimensionally, dimensionally reduction techniques is based on the occurrence, or based on the word occurrence. So therefore, the frequency, frequency use the words 
tend to be extractive. For example, after the earthquake, there are words like damage, evacuation, uh, telephone, intensity. Uh, these words are already uh, uh, I mean, these words are frequently used, and these words are uh, mainly extracted by the LDA. So it is really good for analyzing the common tendency, common sense from the data set. So, but sometimes this technique uh, may ignore important feature, the small words and small topics. So, but sometimes we we need to analyze this kind of uh, small topics, small words, so because uh, they may be the kind of trigger for uh, for generating the new movement in societies. So therefore, there are sometimes so this kind of the, uh, dimensional reduction technique uh, miss the important information. So therefore, we would like to uh, develop the new technique for uh, that can analyze the new movement in so societies. To address uh, this problem, so we are developing the bipartite communication detection method for clustering and feature selection. I would like to explain uh, briefly a, of, uh, our method. So this is a uh, concept figure of a bipartite graph uh, in our method. So bipartite network is a graph as the whose particles are divided, uh, can be divided into two disjoint uh, node set, the U and B. U and B. For example, as, a, as for the Twitter, so we can uh, have the, this kind of two bipartite graph, the order and words. So, and the social media actually is considered as a bipartite graph network, so with author and words. And it tends to be sparse because uh, there are no edges in the same vertical set. So you can see there are no uh, links, uh, in, no link in between words, and no link in, in between authors. So, and uh, in the real world, there are a lot of bipartite graphs, such as uh, consumer and product, and uh, document and words and uh, kind of the people and papers, authors and papers, something like that. So therefore, the analyzing the bipartite graph, uh, considering its structure characteristics is very important for practical applications, we believe. So therefore, we decided to develop the bipartite communication detection technique uh, for extracting the accurate clusters from the, a lot of data, so that, such as the social media. So, and uh, because of the characteristics of the social, uh, of bipartite graph, it is, actually it is difficult to directly, uh, it is difficult to directly adapt conventional community detection method for single network, such as modularity uh, to bipartite graph. So, um, so far, there are two approaches for analyzing the bipartite graph. There are number one and number two. So the, the number of first, first approach is the projection. Projection uh, onto single graph and adapt the conventional community detection. So you can see, there are, this is a bipartite graph, okay? There are two kinds of nodes. The other a bipartite graph like this. So by projection, so one type of node information disappear like this. And on the, by the projection, we, ha we have the only single node graph like this. So this is the one approach, the projection. But this projection approach has problems. So it caused the problems. So originally, the graph has two kinds of nodes. But after the projection, 
we have only single node graph. And those exudes another graph information. And sometimes, two different bipartite graphs uh, are transformed to the same graph, the same single graph. In addition to this, the size of network, uh, especially the number of links, become large. So, and community detection result sometimes change depends on their projection. And to solve this problem, there are, there's a next approach, number two. There are community detection from bipartite graph. So they are, um, they are uh, adapting their conventional, uh, sing, uh, conventional uh, community detection technique for single graph to the bipartite graph. They are extending, they are extending. And there are several uh, techniques for the uh, bipartite graph that uh, extended to from the single uh, graph community detection method, BISBM and the muscle uh, by modularity and uh, BIL, uh, BILPM, uh, LPAM plus and BIM. So these are, uh, they are extending their current conventional method uh, for to their bipartite graphs. But actually the, they did not consider the bipartite network structure characteristics. So therefore the, it is not easy to, again, it is not easy to analyze the bipartite graph structure uh, precisely. So therefore the, we need to develop the new method that directly detect communities from bipartite graph structure. So considering its structure characteristics. So our method is like this. So uh, suppose there are, there's a uh, bipartite graph like this. And the conventional method can detect communities like this. So if there's a bipartite graph like this, the conventional method can detect the whole communities. Each community has only single nodes, the set of single nodes. So there are, they just detect, detected communities with only single node type of nodes like this. However, our method can detect the communities that, has, that have the two types of nodes like this. We are uh, considering the uh, bipartite graph structure characteristics, and we can uh, extract the communities with two types of nodes like this. So therefore, we are keeping the structure characteristics, and uh, the structure, bipartite structure affect the clustering result. Actually, there are two uh, achieve our technique, so we are using random walk algorithm. Uh, I do, due to the limited time, I do not uh, explain the, our uh, algorithm in detail, but if uh, you are interested in please read our paper. But random walk is a kind of the probability uh, method that the random walker moving in the network is observed at node n, and uh, the given as a steady state uh, solution of the recursive equation. So the random walk is a uh, random walk algorithm is a probabilistic method, and uh, we, we just uh, uh, observe the random walk probabilistics and to find the clustering clusters from uh, from bipartite network. And uh, to get the uh, steady state. We are using EM algorithm. So after the EM algorithm, we can have the convergence situation. And uh, using the because of using random walk algorithm, so we can get the soft clustering result. So the in our method, the cluster in our method allows the overlap between clusters. So one world can belong to multiple multiple topics, multiple clusters, and one author uh, can belong to multiple uh, 
last year. So this is uh, really uh, useful, effective, uh, practical for a current, uh, current uh, social media topic selection. So actually, the social media topics boundary is very ambiguous. And of course, sometimes the one uh, topic, uh, one, one word is one word belongs to multiple topics. And also, one also uh, posted uh, multiple topics tweets related to multiple topics. So therefore, the, uh, soft clustering is mandatory for uh, extracting the topics from social media. And our technique is achieving the soft clustering and uh, considering the bipartite graph structure characteristics. So, and uh, we are adapting our technique to social media data, actually big data. So um, I want to introduce uh, our current target data. So as I mentioned, so we are, uh, there, we are targeting the Japan earthquake Twitter data. So tweet related to the Great East Japan earthquake from March 9 to March 29 in 2011, actually six year, years ago. So the Japan earthquake occurred on March 11, so in 2011. So therefore, our data is just before the earthquake and almost three weeks late after the earthquake. So we had uh, over 200 million tweets by one million authors. And we adapt our bipartite network-based uh, communication detection technique to get around 100 clusters. And uh, we calculate coherence measure to evaluate topic semantics. I will introduce the uh, explain coherence measure later. And we compare our result with uh, Gibbs LDA, that is a uh, major topic model I, uh, I briefly explained. So to show our uh, method effectiveness. So this is another figure to explain our target data. So again, our tweet, our data, Twitter data tweet, are related to the Great East Japan earthquake from March 9 to March uh, 29, almost three weeks, just before the earthquake and after the earthquake. And in total, the data size is 150 gigabyte. And uh, the number of unique authors is around uh, 1 million, and number of tweets is uh, almost over 20 million. And every day, so we had uh, 8, mega, 8 megabyte tweet, uh, eight, uh, 8 million, sorry, 8 million tweet, 8 million tweet, and by 200K authors, and in total, 8 giga gigabyte data a day. So we have the eight gigabyte data a day in our data. And uh, to make the, um, to analyze all the Twitter data over time, we made the time slate data. So we made the uh, author and word matrix using the uh, natural language processing technique. So as a step, step one, as a first step. So we measure author and word matrix uh, for every 30 minutes. So to analyze the uh, topic transition over time, we made every 30 minutes, uh, we made the word and author and word matrix for every 30 minutes. So uh, each matrix has uh, almost 150K and 200K authors and 230k and 250 words matrix. I think you can easily imagine it is quite sparse matrix, and the order average size is almost 30 megabyte. It is still not so small and really sparse uh, matrix. And this matrix we can consider as the bipartite graph, the author and words bipartite graph. Therefore, there we decide. Uh, we adapted the, our bipartite communication detection technique to this uh, time series matrix. 
And uh, this is the result of the uh, uh, result of by our uh, original technique, bipartite communication detection. So the extracted topics, it is a sample, except sample uh, topics. So each topic has their authors and words. So um, this, is a, uh, this is a strong point of our technique. That each topic has their, uh, has their corresponding authors and corresponding words. So then the structure is like this. So the, our method in our, in our, in our, uh, in, in our community, our method, so in, in, in our community has uh, there, there are two kinds of nodes, authors and words, and also the like this. So there are also the overlap is a lot like this. Therefore, so there this sometimes there are this kind of the overlap happen, and the search question, and each community has their authors and words like this. And then uh, we uh, evaluate so each topic, uh, extracted topic uh, semantics. And we are using coherence value. It is also, I think, the um, so so popular measurement uh, to uh, evaluate the semantics. Especially for LDA result, the coherence value is widely used uh, to uh, evaluate the uh, topic quality. And the coherence value, so Mino was proposed the coherence value for formula like this. So automated evaluation coherence by Mimo. So we also used this coherence value to evaluate our atopic semantics. And of course, I have mentioned, we compared our result with LDA. So there, this is uh, this graph shows average coherence value for each time slot on March 11. Actually, the March 11 is the exact day the earthquake happened. So the, the dotted line shows the, earth, the timing that earthquake happened. And before the earthquake, so the coherence value is so so not so sometimes high but not so high kind of like that. But after the earthquake. The coherence value uh, was getting higher. So that means uh, after the earthquake, the, our method and gives LDA extracted the topics with uh, high semantics. So it is, I think it is good. So after the earthquake, the LDA and our method uh, could extract the uh, topics with high coherence value, high semantics. And we can see the topics with high coherence values. It must be um, seman it must be good topic. So high it has high semantics. It it yeah topics. It, they have they must have uh, high semantics. So and actually the topics with high coherence values are really nice. So we could uh, extract topics with uh, really popular words related to the earthquake, like uh, the place name uh, that earthquake happened, Iwate and Miyagi of Fukushima and so on. And there also we can um, extract it, their topics with the word, tsunami, and telephone, intensity, information, and so on. So actually their topics with high coherence value are common sense, very popular topic, common sense. So common sense can be extracted by our method, the topics with high coherence values. So at LDA, so also it is uh, good for extracting the topics, uh, common sense, so with high coherence values. So topics related to like uh, same, almost same, the uh, topics with high coherence values are really uh, almost same between our method and LDA. So LDA and our method can extract the common sense uh, from the uh, Twitter. 
by their by our method and MDA. But uh, actually, the common sense is very important. So to analyze uh, social insight, so <clears throat> very important. Extracting the common sense is very important. It is okay, but in addition to that, we want to have specific topics as well. So, for example, fake news or a specific situation. Then these topics start really small, but gradually uh, became larger, bigger as time went by. So, therefore, the specific topics, actually, at first, specific topics, coherence is not so high. So, therefore, the uh, LDA sometimes the LDA sometimes misses the, these specific topics. But our method can, uh, can extract uh, these specific topics because we are considering bipartite graph structure and specific topics started a little small author groups. So therefore, the, uh, we are considering the group uh, authors group characteristics as well. And then there, we can start to select uh, these specific topics uh, and also their, 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 their uh, transition. Okay. So I want to show an example for the specific topic extraction by our method. So there was a fake news, actually, after the earthquake, harmful materials by the petrochemical complex explosion in Chiba Prefecture. It was a fake news. However, there, there, there was a fact. Actually, immediately after, the petrochemical complex in Chiba Prefecture was on fire. So it was fact. They are just, just on fire. It is also, also, of course, it is very serious incident, but just on fire. But uh, after that, so after after time went by, so the, uh, the fake news was generated. The complex was exploded. So there's a, a lot of fake news, kind of the air has radioactivity and harmful uh, materials from the petrochemical complex. Be careful. Don't go out. Because the rain includes radio radioactivity and harmful materials by the petrochemical complex, Explosion. These are completely fake news, but then it started very small, but gradually getting very big, and uh, people cannot ignore. And also, there are complex company and governmental of, of uh, government, local government could not uh, could not ignore, and uh, uh, they corrected the they uh, corrected officially. So to the industry website and the local government Twitter on March 12, they corrected the, this fake news. So the March 12 is the day after the earthquake. Oh. Okay. And there are, actually the local government Twitter was posted on March 12 around at 3 p.m. Around 3 p.m. So there's a chain mail that said the uh, industrial complex in Chiba Prefecture was exploded and harmful materials are uh, being split with rain. This is completely fake. Please behave the, with the right information. This kind of tweet was posted by the local government. And then uh, this fake news was uh, gradually, uh, well, this fake news uh, gradually disappeared. So this is a kind of the new uh, topic transition over time. And our method can uh, completely extract these uh, topics. So actually, the, so the, the, about the fact the complex was on fire, we can uh, find the topics like this. But and there are about the fake news, of, and we can find the topics like this, that includes explosion, the world explosion and harmful and, and the rain and something like that. 
and also there we can uh, get the situation for spreading several kind of the ha ha hazardous uh, material substances, substances and the lane code and a great diffu uh, diffusion kind of the diff uh, for spreading diffusion it has it includes the world like this and also we could find their collection topics so it includes the data as well their uh, attention and fire and fake and another uh, collection topic includes uh, false information and chain mail and fake and something like that so we could uh, extract these topic tradition this is another figure to analyze the uh, uh, fake news transition. <clears throat> so, the earthquake happened at 2.46 p.m. on March 11, and immediately after, the complex was on fire. And the fact uh, topics, the complex was on fire, the fact topic was generated, topics were generated like this, oh, the, uh, sorry, this is a, uh, Japanese of the time. This uh, horizontal axis shows the time, and this vertical axis shows the coherence, semantics. Okay, and uh, there these are uh, these uh, topics are not the topics that did not have their high coherence value, and not so not so big, a little bit uh, really small, not so big, uh, really rather than small, and uh, <coughs> and there uh, there's a uh, and okay, the fact, there's a fact topic. Okay, and we could find the fact topic. And also, and, uh, and after that, there are a topic about the fake news, the explosion, so what's generated. So then we could find the fake topics. So also almost around 7 p.m. So we can see there around 7 p.m. the fake topics were generated. We can support. So therefore, so by extracting our uh, uh, by extracting the topics uh, by our method, we can see the timing that fake topics were generated. And there, these are uh, process for spreading. Actually, these these topics each circle shows the topics, and each topic this this uh, this term. Has, uh, have words like diffusion or rain code or uh, any be careful, uh, please spread something, the kind of the word for spreading. And then the local government uh, posted the tweet for data co uh, information collection at 3.31 p.m. on March 12. The next day after the disaster, the earthquake, and there uh, actually around uh, this information, uh, the, this yellow topic, uh, including the fake word, word, word fake. So that means uh, this uh, yellow topic is uh, topics are the topics for correcting the fake information, this information, and around the government tweet, there uh, we could find the uh, uh, topics for collecting the fake news like this. And uh, actually there, so we could find the topics for collection around the, after, after before, just before the government tweet and after the government tweet, so we could find the topics for collection. And uh, actually the, these collection topics, coherence value are high, the semantics are high. And uh, the, as time went by, there are topics is topics coherence is going down and uh, we can see the topics was uh, disappearing as time went by. So by our method, so in we can uh, find this kind of topic transition over time. Actually, the LDA. So it is it is not LDA cannot detect this kind of topic transition. So precisely, because the the LDA is really good for extracting the topics with high coherence value, and uh, actually the, it 
sometimes sometimes LDA can be extra this part of this this topic. But they cannot uh, LDA cannot detect this transition completely. So but our method are considering the bipartite network structure and also the team, also as group and word group at the same time. So therefore we can extract this kind of the topic, very specific topic that are not uh, that does not that do not have high coherence value, but very important specific topic. So this is uh, our method strong point to analyze the social insight. Okay. And then there are actually there are other uh, topics, specific topics, kind of the detainee area situation after the earthquake, and previous severe disaster, and theater play cancelled. These topics started very small because the Disney area uh, after the earthquake, the people at Disneyland were stranded uh, worldwide, and uh, people posted people at the Disneyland area posted their serious situation on Twitter. It started very small, but gradually be, uh, growing. Uh, but uh, but that they that were gradually growing, and uh, we our technique can uh, detect the. The, at the beginning of the, this topic, at the beginning of the topics, like these topics, and previous severe disaster also, there, uh, we had a previous uh, similar disaster, very huge earthquake uh, previously, <coughs> and people, they experienced the previous severe disaster, posted their experience. It started not so, the start is uh, not so big, but we can extract. And theater play cancellation also we can. So, and uh, we could, uh, our method can uh, extract these kind of uh, specific topics uh, state, uh, continuously, and we can, our method can uh, analyze the uh, transition of uh, these uh, specific topics uh, as time went by. So, okay, this is uh, our uh, first, this is the first part of uh, my presentation. Okay, so, okay, I would like to move to the next part of the, our present, my presentation. A book review analysis on Haruki Murakami in five countries. So, <clears throat> this is, as I mentioned, this, is, uh, this part uh, should be presented by uh, Professor Shirota, but on behalf of her, I will present uh, this part uh, of uh, this part. So, so Haruki Murakami, maybe you, you heard the name of Haruki Murakami. It is, he is a really popular novelist all over the world. So his book was interpreted in various languages and uh, caused a boom for Haruki Murakami. So, and the uh, Norwegian Wood is uh, one of the most popular novel of Haruki Murakami. So, it was interpreted. There are uh, a lot of languages like this. So, therefore, there are to analyze uh, Haruki Murakami's book review comment, we believe we can understand the cultural difference or similarity uh, all over the world through Haruki Murakami's Novel. So, the contents, the presentation contents is, uh, I, will, I will start with the uh, research, our research goal, and the data, and also I will explain about uh, our data, uh, Amazon reviews, comments, and the analysis tool. We are using what to back, it is quite popular uh, tool uh, for analyzing so, uh, vector space in what. Uh, in what in what uh, a lot of work about. and also the secret of popular uh, before the analysis we are explaining secret of popularity as uh, secret of popularity of Haruki Murakami and uh, we we show the analysis result and discussions and we I conclude this presentation so the research goal is to make clear how Murakami's novel were read by the world. So the, we analyze how his 
novels are read in foreign countries and identified cultural differences via their book reviews. So we collect data from Amazon book reviews in Japan, US, UK, uh, Canada, and Australia. Then we utilize the method what to back. So we collected the data from five, five countries Amazon review site. So like this, we have a big huge data so from the review site. And what to we utilize what to pick method. What to pick method is now popular method. So the input is a lot of text and output is a vector space, typically of several hundred dimensions. So our world is represented as a vector and we can visualize the vector representation using TSNE method. So T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding. There are few, the technique for dimensional reduction. This is also dimensional narrative reduction, reduction technique uh, that is uh, partially uh, well suited for the visualization of high dimension data set. So for example, 100 dimension uh, can be two dimension by this one to big method. And uh, using what to big, so for example, we can um, have the words, uh, similar concept words of Japanese using what to big. For example, for, for example, for Japan, Japanese, European, Asian, and something like that. So using what to big we can use the kind of the, a similar concept word. Okay. And then the, okay. this is a flow of the analysis in our approach. So the, we collected close to the text, review text of um, reviewers, review text on Amazon uh, and related to Haruki Murakami and we adapted what to pick uh, technique and we get the vector model and we adapted uh, uh, our program to find similarity uh, concept word list and we uh, could have a similar word list and by TSNE we visualize the result so and uh, actually the, before analysis we conducted survey Secret of Haruki Murakami's popularity. And there are a lot of uh, papers for analyzing the secret of Haruki Murakami's popularity uh, related to the cultural uh, environment or economic environment. So according to this kind of the analysis, we, are, uh, con we conducted our experiment uh, to uh, evaluate the uh, survey result. And uh, that we uh, analyzed the uh, UK reviewers on Haruki Murakami, and we uh, made this kind of visualization, uh, vector space of words, uh, Northern no, no, Wood, and also the, okay, we can skip, and also uh, in UK, so we selected some, a few of the popular novels of Haruki Murakami and we made the uh, vector space of words. Okay, like this. And also we uh, conducted the experiment for the US review comments like this and we made the, this kind of the, uh, vector space visualization. Yes. And Canada. And Japan. Okay, and we computed the similarity. So among four countries uh, besides uh, Japan, so US, UK, uh, Canada, and Australia. So we found uh, the 
uh, Australia is, we found that Australia is similar to Canada and Australia is similar to UK and Canada is not similar to US and UK. So according to the road to big result and vector space, we compared the vector space and can compute the similarity among the vector space. So we found the similarity between the, the, those four countries. And uh, as for the, so we found that uh, in the re, in the reviews on Kafka on the shore, this is a popular novel of Haruki Murakami. There was this, there's no difference among the countries. So, uh, but however, in the review on the Norwegian wood, there's a great difference among the Japan and other countries. So maybe the, uh, in Japan, the Norwegian wood um, um, is uh, was supposed as a love story. However, the uh, other four countries, they did not think, we, we, we found that they did not think it is love story. So this is quite huge difference. And then the, we think the, the leaders Especially in the UK, there is the reviewers are aged with our our hypothesis. Okay, and also there are Shoto Fuji is one of the researcher for Haruki Murakami. He mentioned the young uh, middle class in the Chinese speaking world is reading Murakami as a material of urban consumption culture such as their, such as a bar, a single apartment house, uh, travel, jazz, and so on. So there, which was rapidly spread along with economic growth. This is his hypothesis. So next, as the next step, we would like to confirm his, his theory, his hypothesis, his idea. So therefore, we would like to expand this uh, research to Asian countries. So, and uh, as the first step, we are starting the uh, text mining uh, research of Thailand reviews or of Haruki Murakami. Okay, the last part of uh, my presentation is global experiment. It is not so long. So that's a few slides. But anyway, this is an ongoing um, project for the kind of marketing survey, a part of marketing survey. So the social media analysis platform in Asia. So actually the uh, method is available for other languages if we can get rewards from local languages. So therefore the, we would like to spread extend our method all over the world, especially in Asian countries, because uh, this is a quite uh, uh, industrial project, and uh, Japanese industries are really interested in uh, uh, promoting the social media analysis platform in Asian countries. And we are working with the Dai Nippon Printing Company, DNP, is one of the biggest company in Japan, printing company. And also, Shu Asia is one of the really major publishing company. They are publishing a lot of comics, popular comics and fashion magazines. And they are really interested in uh, develop the social media analysis platform in Asia. So, and we are already uh, promoting the uh, Facebook page and uh, Facebook page related to the Japanese fashion and comics. And also we are collecting the Pokemon Go tweet uh, all over the world. So therefore, the, by analyzing the, this kind of data, so we can get the useful information for marketing service. And then we are developing the uh, establishing the agent network, university network for social media analysis platform. So we are already working with a lot of universities in Asian countries because, as I mentioned, 
the natural language processing is the key of this project. So once we can get the word uh, terms, the uh, kind of the word, we can analyze the uh, topics or ten, um, uh, transition or tendency uh, in, so in social uh, by as a social insight. However, the, as, a, as a first step, we need the natural language processing. So we are working with the natural language processing researcher in Asian countries in these universities. And of course, so in Thai, so uh, Professor Bilaki is already part of our team, and we are uh, learning from uh, him uh, how to uh, do the natural language processing for Thai language and working together to get the important information uh, from Thai language and analyze the uh, cultural difference between uh, among the Asian countries. So, and also Chinarunpo University, we have a really good partner uh, to analyze the uh, cultural difference in Thai. Uh, so therefore, that we, in Thai, we have very, very good uh, research environment. But you, if you are interested in this project, please contact us. And uh, Japanese industries are really interested in this kind of uh, project. And uh, uh, we are also working together with industry people in Japan. OK, so the conclusion. So there, I introduced our research topic extraction from millions of tweets based on the community detection in bipartite network. This is our original technique. So we try to solve the current problems on conventional social media analysis technique. So our, our technique can analyze the bipartite network considering its uh, structure characteristics. And uh, we can uh, find a very important, so really common, popular topics. Not only popular topics, but also the really important about specific topics. Not so big, but uh, we can see the specific to topics by our method. So we believe our um, technique is bet uh, better than the conventional method. And we are, uh, we are tr trying to uh, improve our method and conducting experiment more and more. And also, I, would, I introduced the book review analysis on Haruki Murakami in four countries. And uh, it is also the, another approach for uh, analyzing the cultural difference from the social media of the Amazon review comments. So <clears throat> it is also really uh, interesting uh, research. And also the new uh, popular technique, what to bake is, we can evaluate what to bake is uh, effective for analyzing the, the, this kind of the research. And uh, I introduced gl our global experiment, social media analysis platform in Asia countries. As a future work, so we uh, technique, uh, we improve our technique and also develop applications for social media analysis. We, we Our research uh, point is developing technique useful technique, and also developing uh, useful applications, practical applications for social media analytics to contribute to society. So uh, we improve our technique, and also we have a, another big data uh, related to the Kumamoto earthquake and the Nepal earthquake. Uh, we compare other, our results uh, with uh, the other earthquake data. and. Uh, we try to make clear the topic life cycle model. We want to generate topic life cycle model uh, eventually. And uh, we promote the global social media analysis platform. So, and uh, actually, the, uh, yeah, I, actually I, I had to present the visualization challenge on time series statistical data. It is also another topic conducted by Professor Shirota, but, uh, Maybe I do not have time, enough time to show this uh, research. So therefore, the, uh, please uh, access our website. So the professor Shirota is developing the 
uh, visualization in educational material, visualized educational materials for statistical model. Especially, uh, she is presenting the give sampling visualization like this. So uh, the visualization is one of the good way to make students understand the statistical model. Uh, and uh, Professor Schroet is developing this kind of the visualized the statistical model educational materials. So please access her website and uh, uh, to show to see their uh, content uh, for visualization of or for the statistical model. Okay, and there are our papers like this. If you are interested in, please contact me. So I'm happy to send our paper to you. And thank you so much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Hashimoto, uh, for your very interesting and intriguing topics. And uh, personally, I'm definitely willing to join the global event. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, now we have a few minutes to questions and discussions or any questions or discussion. I'm sure that there are many topics which is very interesting to most of you. So, any questions or comments? Thanks so much for interesting talks. Um, the statistics is great, <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, yeah. even the superficial, uh, you know, the statistics are all what usage in many uh, occasions, as you just uh, described. It, it helps us uh, yeah. understanding all, all the things which are hidden. Uh, but my question is concerning to the major data you you are using. Confluence. No, uh, and, and uh, all other in, in general, I should say, yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, people working in in uh, some uh, simple statistics or yeah. whatever you know, the, uh, even the uh, ground private type of things, and they somehow uh, informationally just modify in terms of, of uh, switch to the target by yeah. simply applying mathematics. That's fine. But yeah. the question is, so far we are, you know, would like to get some information. Yeah. The question is, what kind of measure we can use for that? Yeah. For example, I just simply judging from my uh, experience in, in speech, yeah. uh, you can find uh, these kind of differences in the, in the speech parameters. Mm -hmm. But what we feel yeah. is not exactly the one that we you know, can get from the speech parameters. Yeah. So like the, whatever NLP uh, parameters and derived from, from the any mathematical calculation, yeah. what we need is there some kind of uh, target that you want to specify, uh, how could you just manage to uh, map the, uh, I should say, some objective values and subjective scores? Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, we are now they are developing a new measure for uh, for evaluating the topics that we want. So, and uh, there, actually, uh, we want to have a topic that have no, not so high coherence value, but very specific topics. So, and uh, we understand. Uh, we are now understanding that these topics has a really specific author groups. So therefore, uh, we are kind of the uh, specification uh, degree of author team. And we, are, we, if the these to the, to the topics is really, we are using Jaggard coefficient as a first step. And if the author group is very specific, and the coherence value is so so, so that must maybe the maybe. Uh, there are, may, may have a possibility to be a good topic, or this kind of the, uh, measurement we are now developing as well, and we need to yeah, make clear what we want. The, so yeah, as you mentioned, you as you mentioned. Um, uh, I'm afraid uh, even for me, I don't understand what the coherence is before yeah, yeah. We, we calculate that. Yeah. The question, question is there. So far, what we can uh, measure yeah. from from the text is a sort of objective metric, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, what I do not understand is uh, how we characterize subjective one. Because for speech case, yeah. you can you can either uh, uh, measure the intelligibility or the naturalness or whatever yeah. in, in, uh, by asking the human how you feel, right? Yeah, yeah. And some mapping between the objective one and subjective one is somehow you know we have. 
we may sometimes have some of those scientific understanding of what, what's happening. Yeah, yeah. The question uh, for your case is, uh, I, have, I do not know the detail of what you just yeah. described for the yeah. objective values, but the uh, subjective one, uh, yeah, 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 I yeah. do totally missing the what, what kind of uh, measuring or some observation, what, whatever it is. Uh, for example, top, top, topic separation, right? Yeah, yeah. How we can justify some topics categorization as right or not? Ah, yeah, 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 I see. So, I think still there are problems. So, for the topic, uh, not only our method, but also the other topic extraction methods. So, we need to yeah, uh, make clear the subjective measurement. So, still, we need to, yeah, uh, not yet, but we need to develop. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, is there any other questions? One more question or oh, okay. Thank you very much for your very inspiring speech. Um, uh, I would like to refer to the book study. Study. I, I like to refer to the book. Oh study. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like to ask um, when you're trying to analyze texts that are in different languages. Is there a case that, say, a certain word is used in a slightly different way among languages, and how do you um, compensate for, say, this cultural? slight differences in these kind of words, or is it negligible in this kind of case? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we conducted uh, analysis between Thai and Japanese language, so uh, related to the earthquake uh, topic, so Twitter later. And uh, actually, the in Thai, so there are a little bit, uh, there are a kind of cultural aspect for the Buddhist, Buddhist or something like that. And uh, we found the Buddhist uh, kind of concept in your country uh, on Twitter related to the earthquake and we uh, found uh, this kind of uh, difference between Japan and uh, uh, Thailand, Thailand, yes, Thai, Thailand people. So, and uh, also the, but actually the, in, for the Thai language, it is very difficult to analyze the uh, Thai language. So because it is very difficult. So therefore the, we are still ongoing uh, to analyze the difference uh, between the Japan and other countries, local languages. We just started, so thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So maybe I think that there are more questions, uh, but uh, actually time is running. So uh, again, uh, please give a big hand to the professor. <laughs>